Hi folks, Joe McCarthy from Catchpoint, and in this video, I'll be going over what's new in our latest release titled Yosemite. So before we get started, I want to reiterate the reasoning behind the phased approach for rolling out these GUI updates, as we're not just putting on a fresh coat of paint. We're basically re-engineering the entire front and back end, so users will have a totally integrated platform. In the past, if users had synthetic, RUM, or endpoints as part of their solution, they would have to go to three different views to set up tests. With this new GUI, users will have a common, integrated, and consolidated view from the main dashboard. Regardless if you're building a high-level executive dashboard, a knock dashboard, or even a detailed troubleshooting dashboard, you'll have a common view that supports all the data, regardless if you're building that high-level report or needing to do a deep dive analyzing data to troubleshoot a specific issue. All this from one common starting point. If that's a fresh coat of paint, then that's some very good paint. Okay, let's check out some of the new features. For obvious reasons, this has been a huge push by IT organizations to have the capability for monitoring the remote employees environment. With Catchpoint's endpoint solution, not only will we be able to monitor their CPU, memory, and Wi-Fi performance, we'll correlate this information with our existing synthetic, network, RUM, and soon-to-be user sentiment telemetry points, giving IT organizations a level of visibility that no other solution on the market can provide. Next up, because Scatterplot has been an overwhelming success for our customers when visualizing and troubleshooting hard-to-find problems, you can now add Scatterplot widgets to the new custom dashboard. We've also made improvements to the styling and legend. There are two toggle options, successful and fail tests. Right now I have successful highlighted so you can see all the tests that are being successful. If I was to toggle it to the fail test, well you can see there are no fail tests. So just another way to quickly identify any issues that you're having. Moving on, this is what we call page groups. Most all SaaS and productivity applications often include page categories where individual pages are duplicates from a template. For example, say in Salesforce, each customer case has a unique URL, so reporting on the performance by URL would be impossible to manage. To solve this, we've added page groups, which allow grouping by unique pages by regex patterns in the URL. And finally, we have the provider view. While many companies have migrated internal applications to SaaS, those applications still often require some integration to the internal systems. For example, a business intelligence tool such as Salesforce may pull data from an internal database. In these hybrid SaaS on-prem cases, it can be difficult to determine the cause of slowness or errors. With provider reporting, you can now easily differentiate between performance impact of the SaaS applications and the network requests made to your internal systems. So these are just a few of the new changes found in the Yosemite release. I urge you to check out the new release notes to understand other features like the RUM Explorer updates, new test scheduling options, and for Traceroute, we've increased the number of pings on the destination hop from three to 20, providing more reliable JIRA calculations. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to check out those release notes.